Hi everyone, welcome to the Game Level channel. Today I want to show you how you can create a motion graphics like this with After Effects software. First, open the software. Click on New Project. Click on New Composition. In this section, you can type a name for your project. In this section, you can specify the width and height in terms of pixels. For Full HD 1920 by 1080 and for 4K you must enter 3840 by 2160. In this section you can set the resolution. If you have strong hardware, you can choose full, but if you have weak hardware, it is better to choose other options such as half, third or quarter to have a higher render speed while working with the software. Note that selecting any of these options will not affect the quality of the output file. In this section, we can determine the starting frame and duration of the project. Considering that the frame rate is equal to 30, so 300 frames equals 10 seconds, you can change from frame to time and time to frame by holding the control key and clicking on this part. In this section, you can change the background color. Finally, we click on OK. Well, we can choose a photo or video as the background or not change the background at all. For example, I want to use a photo for the background. For this purpose, double click on this section. Select the desired photo and press import. The photo is placed in this section. Drag the photo and drop it in this section. Considering that the height of our photo is more than 1080, a part of it is placed outside the frame. Well, first we want to type a text. For this purpose, we click on the T icon or press Ctrl plus T. We click on the background. In this section, we can change the size of the text. We type the desired text. In this section, we can change the font of the text. To change the color, select the desired text and select the color from this section. We can also change the horizontal scale from this part. To move the anchor point to the center, click on the anchor point icon, then drag the anchor point and hold the control key and move it to the center. We use the selection tool to move the text. We can also move the anchor point to the center by going to Layer, Transform and then Center Anchor Point and Layer Content. To move the text to the center, go to the Align section. If there is no Align option in this section, you can go to the Windows section and check the Align. Click on Align Horizontally and Align Vertically. Well, now we want the text to move from the outside of the frame to the center. For this purpose, we click on this arrow. Click on Transform. Activate the Position Animator. As you can see, a keyframe was added at frame 0. We increase the value in the Y direction to move the text outside the box. We bring the timeline to frame 25. We decrease the value in the Y direction so that the text comes to the center of the frame. In order for the text to be completely in the center of the frame, click Align Vertically. Now we want to increase the size of the text as it moves from the outside of the frame to the center. 
For this purpose, put the timeline at frame 0. Activate the scale animator. The scale should be at 100%. We bring the timeline to frame 25. To make the timeline exactly at the position keyframe, hold down the shift key. We set the scale to 120. Now we bring the timeline to 0 frame and press the space bar. As you can see, the text size increases when moving towards the center. Now we want the text to fade and appear while moving towards the center. Activate the opacity animator. Set the value to 0%. Move the timeline to frame 25. Set the value to 100%. Now we bring the timeline to 0 frame and press the space bar. As you can see, the text is entered as a blur and appears as it gets closer to the center. Now select all the end keyframes and right click and select Easy Ease and from Keyframe Assistant. By doing this, the animation ends more smoothly and slows down before stopping. Well, now we want to add the motion blur effect. For this purpose, we click on the square below the motion blur icon. If you don't see these icons here, right click in this area and check the switches option from the columns section. Now activate the motion blur by clicking on this motion blur icon. Motion blur makes movements look more natural. Now we can see the result. Now we want the two lines, top and bottom of the text to move like this. For this purpose, first click on the pen tool icon. Then we draw the line. To remove the red parts, click on Fill and select None. You can change the color of the line by clicking on Stroke Color. From this part, you can determine the width of the line. I set it to 7 pixels. We can change the name of the shape by right clicking on this part and choosing Rename. I type line 1. Click on this arrow. Click on contents. Click on shape 1. Click on stroke 1. Now in the line cap section, select round cap so that the border around the line is circular and without angles. Then click on add and select trim paths. Click on Trim Paths. Considering that the text stops at frame 25, we place the timeline on frame 27. We activate the Start Animator. We set its value to 0%. We move the timeline to frame 50 and set its value to 100%. We move the timeline to frame 55. Activate the end animator and set its value to 100%. Place the timeline on frame 32 and set its value to 0%. Now you can see the result. Now we want to draw the same line above the text. Click on line 1 and press Ctrl plus D. 
Click on this arrow. Click on Contents. Delete Shape 1. We draw the line above the text. Click on Shape 1. Click on Stroke 1. Now in the Line Cap section, select Round Cap so that the border around the line is circular and without angles. Then click on Add and select Trim Paths. Click on Trim Paths. Because we want the lines to move at the same time, we set the timeline exactly on the first keyframe of the first line. Activate the Start Animator and set its value to 0%. We place the keyframe similar to Line 1. Now we can see the result. You can draw beautiful moving lines with your creativity. Well. Now we want to make circle bursts like this. For this purpose, click on the ellipse tool. Draw a small circle. If you hold the shift key while drawing the circle, the circle will be drawn well. Change its name to circle 1. Click on this arrow and then contents. Click on Ellipse 1. Click on Stroke 1. Move the timeline to frame 27 and activate the Stroke Width Animator. Don't change its value. Bring the timeline to frame 38. Set its value to 0. As you can see, the circle disappears after a few frames. Click on Transform Ellipse 1. Bring the timeline to frame 27 and activate the scale animator. Set its value to 0. Place the timeline exactly on the second stroke width keyframe. Set the scale value to 100%. As you can see, Circle Burst was created. Right click on the second keyframe and select Easy Ease and from Keyframe Assistant. We can copy this Circle Burst and place it in different places. To do this, Click on Circle 1 and press Ctrl plus D keys. Well, Circle 2 is created. We place the anchor point in the center of the circle with the method I explained early. Now we can move the circle burst to another place. With this method, we can create several circle bursts and place them in different places. As you can see, several circle bursts appear at the same time and then disappear. We can make the circle bursts appear one after the other with a delay by clicking on the layers and dragging them slightly to the right. The result will be like this. Well, 
Finally we want the text to move to the right and out of the frame. Click on the text arrow. Place the timeline at frame 56. Click here to create a keyframe for position. Move the timeline to frame 75. Increase the value in the X direction until the text goes outside the frame. Place the timeline at frame 56. Click here to create a keyframe for scale. Move the timeline to frame 75. Set the scale value to 100%. Place the timeline at frame 56. Click here to create a keyframe for opacity. Move the timeline to frame 75. Set the opacity value to 0%. Now select all the end keyframes and right click and select Easy Ease and from Keyframe Assistant. Now we can see the final result. I hope this video was useful to you. If you wish, you can subscribe to this channel. If you click on the bell, you will receive a notification as soon as a new video of me is released. By clicking like, you can help more people see this video. Thanks for watching this video.